We'll do a little faucet tutorial. Just a quick, easy one. He's got two 96s, one's your feed, one's your distribution. You got 12 fibers being pushed through. And then you have 12 fibers ending here for these eight drop lines, leaving four spare for the future. We've got a 450C com scope closure. It's all Prismian cable. I'm just gonna make this video right quick of me throwing this case together right quick. You guys can get a seat, get to see the methods and the ways that I actually build this real fast. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Four tabs on the inside. Bop, bop, bop. Flip those open. Alright, there's your whatever you want to call it. these out because for one I don't want them in the way and for two so in the future whoever comes in here next to enter cable will know to use this one because that's the only one left. All right. This bad boy. First things first get your collar on. We're gonna enter. But we need to prep. your drops in to the gel pack. We'll get to that. together. They used to come together but I guess the factories are getting cheap now. So and pop those in. There's just a little slot on the inside. Oh. Those set up. Another thing they used to come with these handy little free wrenches. They don't anymore. So thankfully over the years I have a shit ton of them. I mean it always just We'll buy one. Oh well. Strength member holders. Boom. There's a little slot there. Pop it in. And some guys like to slide these over, whatever. I just find it's quicker. Loosen them up. Off them on. Let's take it kinked up. This one's tight.
have your basket and your um, six shooter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the way it's going to work is feed port, distribution, 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 distribution. Feed's always starting here and then you work your way around. Alright? Get these, and then here, feed port. So right there. Make sure you hear that click. Your uh, clamp part to the back. And start slamming cables in. I like to start with my feed cable. Keep it simple out here. Crazy tight with these now, just you know, snug. Start cranking it down, you pinch the cable shut. And remember, these are still glass tubes at the end of the day, way in there, so don't forget that. You know what? We'll do all that fun stuff. Right. Get your strength members cut to length, strength member holder. Tighten that nice and tight. Alright, next cable. Next one. Sneak those through the little center bracket there. Just find that's the neatest way to get it done. Keeps it out of the way too. Ready to do your strength members and your make sure they're not pinched by anything. Just pull them both to the side away. The strength members have to get attached up here. You pull them to each side, you'll never have the issue of them getting intertwined in there. Oh, 
cars. Cut the length and secure. side first. Snap it in. Slide it forward. You want to get the proper measurement before you even put this on. Do this. Simple little trick. If you don't know how far to push it forward, this little piece is going to go inside of that. And it's going to sit flat, flush with right here. So these need to be in the direct center of this gel pack for them to seal properly. So you can literally just line it up on the side. Boom. Get your measurement. Now you know. When you put that on, it's going to be good. Always use a little bit of tape to keep this back in. In the exact order it needs to stay in till later on. And uh, sorry about the generator noise, you guys. I'm actually out here in the field, not like 90% of the videos on YouTube though, splicing where they're just showing you in the office or on a table in the garage. They brought. You guys even splice or what? I mean, shout out to anybody actually producing content because there's really not many guys that are willing to put up their work online. Don't know why either. Anyways, you guys smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this. Pop this on, we'll seal the case up quick. Another little trick for these, grab your distributions. Leave your feed separate, okay? Gel pack hangs like that. There's your first feed cable, right? Get that on, just pull those feet aside. Drop them in one by one, boom, okay? Those are looking good, line it up, pop it on. Don't lock the plate, put the collar up. front angle here. Alright, we got her slid out. We're going to just pop it into its spot, release those tabs back down to keep it locked in. slide and that out your way. Got a screwdriver or something, you know. I like doing this. Seems to work the best. Keep it like that. Or hold here. Flip of the wrist type stuff, you know. Just be careful you don't twist the plastic end right off because that can happen. So take your time. When it gets closer to the end, you know, help it a bit. Trick here. I like to slide my case back. There we go. 
to uh, tape that up to prevent any um, arcing of grounding problems. Uh, just spec it against it. Customer spec. Anytime there's a feed cable, doesn't matter how many are live. There's only two coming in live here. The rest are all dead. We still want them all trade just in case for in the future when they send new light this way and have to expansion farther down the road. The tech doesn't have to mess with the feed cable. It just comes in. It's already in tray. And you can just pick what it needs and get to it. But on the distribution side of things, we don't need to do anything like that. That can all go to basket. So, put it in that way. Look at that. So, we got one tube available. The rest are dead. Take them, work them in the basket nicely. There we go. You want to go ahead and get yourself some mini tie straps. Hiding. Okay, there we go. There it is. So the hill is going. One in the front. Oh. Little tip. Run your tie straps to the outside where the cutting point is. I'm going to have the cutting point in here. Keep the sharp thing away from the fire. So, three straps on the outside. Now some guys will put a little bit of transport tube there to help protect them. But as long as you don't get crazy with your tie strap, they will be fine. And this customer doesn't require that, so no point in doing it. Perfect. Flush cuts. Little basket dial. Now we need trays. Single tray will be the third step up. When it's a ribbon tray, it'll be the fourth step up. And for ribbon trays, it's every two steps. And for singles, it's every single one. So, we do. Thank you. 
Those are in here. There you go. All right. It's pretty much to the lip here, where the lip starts going up. You know, make a mark. Easy peasy. And since we're only dealing with these two right now, these are going to be in their own tray later. On the top, just get them out of your way. Perfect. Ribbon tray. Your place, you're not going to forget to put it on, huh? And see, ribbon tray one, two. Okay, sometimes they want to play. So, marker, marker, there it is. Same idea, it's right where the, the lip starts to go up. Good, good enough. All right, they bite me a little bit down there. Grab those the way they can do these, the same way they're coming in, groups of four. Make them flow nice right out of the, the way they're being brought in back here. Boom, boom. Same idea, right to the lip. Keep everything looking the same. All right. That group. Second group. bad boy out. Do the first tray. Get that out of the way. These are dry, dry cable, but they still come with like some powdery stuff on them. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's uh, a preventative method for when water leaks into the cable. It probably gels up. Anywho, we need to get a little bit of alcohol on a big top. bottle looking rough as ever. To be honest, I think I've had this like six years. She still goes. Anyway. Grab these. Ring cut. Make sure you have your ring cut set properly. If you don't know if it is, come to the end. Okay? Give it a little test. Oh, pops nice. Nothing broke. Good to go. things can come down here. Oop, pulls. Oop, pulls. Slide them right off. This is going to be a little tiny string in there on each one, a little moisture string. Do not mistake it, the white fiber as that one. You can clearly see the difference. So, get that out of your way. Make sure have those peeled off. Grab your alcohol towel. Give them clean. Just a couple wipes. Gets that powder off. I'll show you guys the powder in a second here. Just like some little goopy shit. I don't know. Anyways, just helps when you go to ribbonize these. So you get a quick measurement on them. Nice. There you go. Mm. All right, I'll try 
is pretty much ready. Just gotta get the ribbon eyes and strapped in on the next tray. This one, we'll pull that thing right on, put that back in there. Find the one you want to get rid of. Oh, there it is. Quick wipe. This one's pretty much ready to go. So, that's good. Quickly strip these. Up a little bit. Cool. So now you got your drops all uh, ring cut and ready to go. You're just gonna come here, pressure there, they pop, pull. Okay. Same idea over and over. Bend it on like a 90 degree or anything, just get it to pop. Alright, once you get them all pop, go ahead and slide them off. There you go. Now each one's going to have the Kevlar and two fibers in there, an orange and a blue. So, what we're going to do is get rid of all the Kevlar. Simply just Pop those out, separate them from the Kevlar. Come in with, I prefer my side cutters because it just cuts the Kevlar so nicely. Oh, snip. Just keep it separated. Do not cut one of the fibers. And if you do cut one of the fibers, well, who best gets to stripping some more cable? Process. One by one, get it all, all the Kevlar removed. all the trash get rid of that now you can get a measurement on this and you can do it as a big group but I find when you separate the oranges because you're not going to be using them for this project in case there's like a request but for now that's not what we're splicing so we get them out of our way like so boom, boom to the back. On separated you can get a general measurement of how they're going to sit in here. And by doing this with just the ones you're actually splicing, it allows you to get that, that nice snug net measurement. So uh, when you do splice it and put it away, it goes away real nice. It's not a bunch of short ones and this, that, and the other thing. So there, we are ready to ribbonize these and single splice these. 
so we'll just get to the ribbon eyes right quick. So pop that off, pop these out. Now, I'll move a little quicker. You guys should be gentle at the start so you don't end up breaking anything. I've broken enough fibers in my life to understand how to handle it. And you, you know, you will break fibers in the future. It's just, it's just what happens. You're dealing with glass tubes. So don't be scared to break them. Just understand how to fix it if you do break it. Either strip more cable or if it breaks over here and you can make something work, you know, give it a go. Put you guys backed up a little bit here. All right, we have the ribbonizer out. I'm just gonna strap these in quick because there's just one on each side. Just gonna go ahead. I get my thumb, finger right to the edge of the tray. Then you know, boom, boom. That's where you need to put that little guy, you know? Easy. Don't make it harder than it is. Same idea over here. Finger to the back, boom. Get those on, a couple straps for each. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, was playing games with us today. Yeah. Snug, not over tight. Put the Velcro on to add a little, a little protection there, a little cushion. Plus, that's what the customer likes to see, so that's what we do. When it comes to fiber, you can literally splice and do it in any certain order. There's no set way to do these things. It just comes down to the customer spec. Now, obviously, there can be a general spec of staying neat and tidy and not running fiber with crazy routes and stuff. But anyways, we have that. Go ahead and grab the first. Let me do it. Oh. Where's our brand? Brand. Slate. White. Red. Black. Yellow. Violet. Rose. Aqua. There's your color tone. Once you're in there, make sure you pull them nice and neat. Ooh, that got a little, a little hairy there for a second. Alright. Go ahead and make sure your color code's good before you glue them. Just enough in the bottom to fill the little dish. First one I threw a couple passes on. This one's not really coming out too nice, but fix that by going like this. Make sure it's in the proper order. Firm grip on it. Boom. Double check your order, it's all good. Maybe add a little extra glue since you wipe some off with your, your fingers. Get that laid out nicely on the table. Go ahead and get your other one done. Same color code. Good to go. Go ahead and get that out of there. 
open up your little tip. Keep this guy clean, you know? Use some alcohol, paper towel, give it a scrub. Filthy animals. Anyways. slice this ribbon right quick but my machine set up to singles first so we're gonna do the singles first to avoid extra arc testing so I'll just gently put this back in there so it can dry and do its thing and we can jump up to that next trip these guys. Like a little something like that. Just loop them out of the same way they came in the trays. Same way I'll lay them out. Find it easiest. Just same group of four here. We got the one, two. It's been marked in the back there. So now we know for sure which one's what. We'll go ahead and grab one and two. Double check it. Pull them out. Clean down. Three, four. Clean down. All right, next group. Slicer going. I'll grab that right quick. All right, we got the slicing machine all set up. We already arc tested for singles. And uh, yeah, let's get these eight drop lines spliced right quick. So, start off with our blue. Remember, everything's already cut to length and trade measured nicely so that when we do splice, we'll put it away, it'll go away nicely. They don't want to sit nice. But take your time, patience, and you will get it. But I popped that in. Heat shrinks are already on. Make sure you put your heat shrinks on before you start splicing. Spicing and start moving the heat shrink. There we go. On 
with an axe. about keeping it in a pattern, step by step, keep it moving. That's how you be fast when it comes to spicing. You have to get good at it before you get fast. I've been trying to be fast right off the bat. That's how you made a lot of mistakes and cost you a lot more time in the end. But take your time. Get comfortable. So uh, that's the process. You just rinse and repeat. I mean, you don't really have to change anything up. Just keep it. Oh, that's chip for sure. See? There's a chip. Repeat. It's all chip. I'll go ahead and grab that. And do that one again.
that's looking better. So how you guys been liking the short videos these days? Do you guys like those or do you guys like my longer tutorial videos? Or you guys let me know in the comments maybe what you want to see next or type of build. Even if you have any questions or if you need any troubleshooting done, hit me up in the comments. I'm always willing to help out and relay some knowledge for you other, other techs out there wanting to learn or needing a little bit of help with this been spicing for 10 years now so I guess you could say I've almost seen it all but it's the thing with fiber new equipment comes out new products it's constantly you're learning new things and that's really what's kept me in this industry all these years it's just the, the thirst for knowledge on how to build more and more but yeah you guys let me know in the comments together and there we go. Easy peasy. That's how you go ahead and uh, take some strip cables, throw them in a CFOSC and get all eight drops spliced in right quick. I'll get those strapped in tray and get these put away and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finally done. But yeah, 
Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section. All right, guys, there it is. We're all spliced in. We got our eight drops ran in. We just got to label the case now, but yeah. That's how you uh, throw cables in a 450C right quick and get it spliced up. If you guys like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. Got any questions, throw it in the comment section. And uh, yeah, the analytics tell me about like 78% of you guys is not, you're not subscribed. I mean, I'm doing daily uploads of shorts and multiple videos a week. If you guys want more content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when I'm dropping these videos. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.